So with the massive upset of Iga Swiatek losing at the US Open, she's actually also lost her number one ranking, which means that Arena Sabalenka, after the tournament, will be officially the world number one. She's unofficially the world number one now. Let's go have a look at the live rankings and see how far Sabalenka can get from Sviantec at number two. So this is what the live rankings look like right now. And Sabalenka, you can see there, will be world number one because Iga Sviantec has lost at the US Open. She's only up by 11 points. So if she does lose tomorrow to Kazakina, she will only be number one by 11 points, which means that Sviantec could take it back pretty quickly after. But if Sabalenka was to win the US Open, she could be as far as 1,800 points ahead of Sviantec in the rankings, which would keep her there possibly for the end of the year and going into the Australian Open next year. So Sabalenka, I might be number one now, but the opportunity to be number one for the rest of the season is definitely there and a possibility of taking that spot and running with it if she can get through the rest of the tournament. So there it is, new number one coming Monday and that's gonna be huge for the WTA. It's the first time I've had a change of the ranking since Barty retired, of course, Barty retired at number one. Shviontek took over at number two at the time back in March of last year. So now we have a new number one. It's Sabalenka. She won the Australian Open. She went the semifinals of the French and of Wimbledon as well. And if she wins the US Open, I don't think there's any doubt that she's the best player on the planet. Two slams in one year, that is massive. But let me know down in the comments below, how long will Sabalenka be number one? Because of course, it does depend on how she does for the rest of this tournament. She loses tomorrow, it might be only a couple of weeks because Fiontech will want to get their number one spot back. But we have a new number one as of Monday next week. Arena Sabalenka takes Fiontech over.